This is the greatest build I have ever created and today in this build guide video I'm going to show you how to blow demons with just your sights in the highest possible greater rifts. Let's get started. It's time to stop! It's time to stop! Right now I'm playing wizard. But to be honest, it can be any class that is level 70 and has at least one Paragon point. But before I actually show you my gear, Paragon points, legendary gems and stat rolls, we will take a look at the skills and passives. Ok, here on my screen you can see exactly 6 skills that we will use to annihilate our enemies. So let's start with the first primary skill, Shock Pulse with Explosive Bolts rune that can reach enemies at a great distance and all slain enemies will also explode and pro area damage. So nothing special here, just a typical primary skill to restore your arcane power. As for the secondary slot, here I have Ray of Frost with the Black Eyes rune. When you kill enemies, they will leave a a patch of ice that deals 1.6k% damage as cold, another option would be Arcane Torrent with the rune Static Discharge. The next one is Mirror Image with Mirror Mimics rune, your images will deal 20% of the damage of your own spells, cool isn't it? They last 7 seconds and will cast all the abilities you have on the panel and tank enemies for a while. Another cool spell that works on its own is Lightning Hydra which attacks enemies for 15 seconds and deals 255% damage as lightning. And out to our wide range spells, Blizzard with no phones rune, <coughs> I, I mean Unrelenting Storm sorry, it has a large area of attack does tremendous damage for 8 seconds and just looks damn cool. And the final skill in the list is Ice Armor with the rune Frozen Storm. This will reduce your all incoming melee damage by 12% plus the storm additionally surrounds your character and enemies deal 80% of weapon damage as cold. As for the passives, they are pretty self explanatory. First one is Blur to decrease damage taken by 17%, Dominance to avoid death and shield us after every kill, Audacity provides us 30% additional damage to enemies within 15 yards and another damage amplifier is glass cannon which has 15% more damage but decreases armor and resistances by 10%. Well it is time to show you the actual gear spec for this strong offensive build. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> You're almost not worth it. There are the best items I could find on the battlefield and most necessary among everything we have a full Blackthorn set that sufficiently increases damage against elites, grants us vitality and immunity against most harmful effects. For the weapon I have fine Kiria Ko Kia Kik Kiria Kikion, you get it right, 2 handed staff that adds 15% damage to skills, it has no socket and it has no other stats. Isn't it amazing? And as you can see See I have also transmogrified this weapon to Master Schmidt so the enemies were afraid of my fearsome appearance and hidden in the corners and I didn't find them and not destroy with my powerful staff. For anyone curious why I don't use sockets, they are for casuals and for high paragon players. You know what I mean. For the other pieces I have regular 348 armor boots, no stats whatsoever, 528 armor gloves, basic shoulder pads, Ascended crown and ascended bracers, which are both 10 gold on the market. Moving next, the jewelry slots. Unfortunately, there are no great jewelry items, so I had to purchase these two rings and amulet for my precious gold. Hopefully, I don't go bankrupt after this investment. Here I have the long name ring I don't want to pronounce that adds 4.5% crit chance, another one ring of glory for extra vitality, and this magic amulet with life per hit roll, socketed with ruby. Here are some other stats for this build you wanna know. Zero area damage, zero cooldown reduction, zero attack speed increase, fire damage increase that comes from this piece Bruh. and shock pulse damage from the belt. Okay. Maximum life is 300k, 100 arcane power and 59 gold fine to get my hard earned gold back. Now for the cube slots. For the weapon I have put shard of aid which procs every time you attack with cold and lightning spells and passively from the frozen storm. So basically you will auto cast Freezing Skull from your armor and trigger charged bolt whenever you cast lightning spells like Hydra or Arcane Torrents. Sadly this weapon will not trigger poison damage as I don't have any poison spells here and because I'm not toxic. <laughs> 
Speaking of toxic, every time you see 3 enemies around your butt, you poop this poison cloud with 15 yards for 550% damage and the final slot is royal grandeur ring to reduce set item requirements. And now for the paragon points. Well, uh, I don't have any. No utility, no defense, no offense, no nothing. But actually if you want to make sure that it is not photoshopped, I'm gonna add one point to intelligence to raise my IQ. And bam, look at this damage now, it's over, over 9000. Alright, now to some followers. A good news, I don't have any, because right now they're on vacation to Tahiti, so we will have to rely only on ourselves and our mirror images. Plus, this also saves your time from explaining the usual stuff like Oculus, Nemesis, Flavor of Time, who the hell needs that, right? Well, after we've done all this stuff and finished our analysis, it is time to play the actual Greater Rift with this build created by a no-name YouTuber like me. Oh, and before you open any Greater Rift, make sure to scare the crowd off the roof for the best possible map layout. Oh, sorry, wrong map. Okay, so here are some basics to play this build properly. You need to apply Blizzard Entertainment every time you see multiple enemies. Then cast your Hydra and mirror images so they start doing their thing. And in the meantime, you will need to use two of your other skills. Either Arcane Torrent or Ray of Frost and the Shock Pulse to restore your Arcane and trigger the weapon more often. If your Blizzard or mirror images are over, keep casting them. So rip and tear until it's done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this meme video. For now I want to thank you for watching and listening, if you'd like to see more Diablo content consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to leave a like or a comment below, have a nice day and stay safe everyone.
healing. Okay. Oh. My name is Ash, and like Auric, I want to. I may be able to help you. I am returning to town. The ancient Diablos.